Uh, House Bill 2401 is basically to help grandparents with visitation of their grandchildren if uh, their relationship has been interrupted. Uh, we had passed a bill a few years ago to help them be able to visit their grandchildren, but they have to go to court, and that means hiring an attorney to sue for their grandparents' visitation rights. And I've uh, had a lot of grandparents that that helped, and I've had a lot of grandparents call me and say, I can't afford an attorney. So, Wade, what can we do? I had filed a bill for mediation, and uh, it didn't go anywhere a few years ago. Refiled the bill this year, and what that means is when there is a, an issue of lack of visitation within a family, the grandparents can go to the district judge, and the district judge, if this bill is successful and is signed by the governor, the district judge can order mediation, which will bring in all the concerned parties, the son, the daughter, the grandchildren, and the grandparents that wish the visitation, and they'll sit down and try to work this out without ever having to hire an attorney and ever having to go to court. And if we can, if we can bring folks together, a lot of times communication, a uh, certain amount of dialogue, has solved more problems than court ever will. So that's our goal. I understand this is a, a particular problem in rural areas of the state for, for older people? It, it, it seems to be, and in, 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 in the cases that I'm most familiar with, is, is uh, we have pre-existing relationship with grandparents and their grandchildren, and at some point, uh, because of the parents not getting along and either separating or divorcing, a lot of times one of those parents will move away with the, and they usually have the, the, with the ones I hear about, they have the uh, custody of the children, at least the, the majority of the custody of the children. And these grandparents who were a mile or a few miles away from their grandchildren all this time, all of a sudden maybe half a state away or farther. And it's difficult for them to travel. Some can't drive anymore. Some would rather, it's a hardship for them to drive. And uh, all of a sudden it's, it's not a five minute uh, drive to visit with their grandchildren anymore. And the, the distance uh, alone is a hardship, and then you add with that sometimes the bad relations, and uh, it's very difficult all of a sudden to visit your blood kin. That's wrong. What kind of feedback are you getting from other legislators about this bill? All good. All good. All legislators understand they've got uh, some, some of us, uh, uh, some of them still have their grandparents, some many are grandparents so they're very supportive of this bill i haven't heard anything negative about what we're trying to do and the bill's passed committee now and it's waiting for a full hearing by the house that's correct. correct that's correct we hope to hear it on the full house uh, floor uh today's tuesday i would i'd love to hear it this week uh haven't had a chance to talk to the floor leader but uh, a very good chance we could hear it this week or next what would you say to AARP members across the state of, of what they could do to get behind this bill? I would say, thank you for asking that, I would say please call your, at first, for right now, please call your state representative, wherever you are in the state of Oklahoma, please call your state representative and ask them to give this a favorable consideration and vote yes on this. If they have any questions, please ask them to contact me your state representative or any of your AARP members in this state, contact me. I'd be glad to, to uh, visit with you about this. But if I could have the support of your state representatives on this bill, we'll do good things for grandparents and the visitation of their grandkids. Representative Bruce Lowe, thanks for taking the time to visit with us. Thank you.